Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this non homogeneous differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left hand side. We can express as a function of m by referring to the order of the derivatives. This is second order, so we can take m squared. First order, m to the power of 1. With the corresponding coefficient 1, plus 1 and we set equal to 0 which means that we have m squared plus m is equal to 0 in other words m times m plus 1 is equal to 0 so we should have m is equal to negative 1 or 0 since we obtain two real and distinct roots which means that the complementary function should have a general form of c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x which means that the complementary function for this differential equation is equal to c1 e to the power of negative x plus c2 e to the power of 0 anything power 0 we obtain 1 and hence we have c2 times 1 which is c2 Next, let's obtain the particular integral by referring to the right hand side. Since the right hand side is a degree 2 polynomial, which means that the particular integral should have a general form of ax squared plus bx plus c. However, if we refer to the complementary function, we will realize that we have a term constant. We should always bear in mind that the particular integral should not have exactly the same term as compared to the complementary function. Since this is constant, this is also constant. So which means that we should give right one degree to this function. So we should times x. If we time x, this will be the same term. So we time x again, so x squared and so forth x squared we change to x cubed and now we can differentiate the particular integral with respect to x and we should obtain 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c and differentiate again we should have 3 times 2 which is 6ax and plus 2b now let's substitute into the equation that we have the second order refer to the second order we have 6ax plus 2b followed by the first order plus first order 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c and we should set equal to the right hand side which is x squared plus 2x plus 4 rearrange and simplify the left hand side we should have 3ax squared plus followed by the term with x so which means that we should have 6a plus 2b and followed by the constant, we have 2b plus c. And this is equal to x squared plus 2x plus c. And we should compare to the corresponding coefficients. For the x squared, we have 3a. And the coefficient for x squared is 1. So which means that 3a is equal to 1. And hence, a is equal to 1 over 3. And for the term with x, we have 6a plus 2b is equal to 2. Since a is equal to 1 over 3, so we have 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, which means that b is equal to 0. And for the constant, we have 2b plus c is equal to 4. And b is equal to 0, which means that c is equal to 4. Let's substitute into the particular integral, and we should have ax cubed. a is 1 over 3 x to the power 3 plus b, b is 0, so we don't have the square term, and proceed to x, which is 4x. And we know that the solution for this differential equation is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral, which means that this is equal to c1 e to the power of negative x plus c2 plus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 4x and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you